The Black Shark 2 is even more beautiful and premium than its predecessor. The back is a blend of metal and glass with two cameras on the upper left side. In the hand, it feels heavy and sturdy. The sides are metallic, so the phone has some additional protection in case you drop it, although this doesn't mean that it is indestructible. On the right side, we find the power button and the shark key slider, that allows us to gain access to the shark space. On the left side, there is the volume rocker. The top is clean, while on the bottom we find the USB Type-C port and the tray for the two nanosim cards. The Black Shark 2 doesn't have expandable memory nor a headphone jack. Display The display increases in size from 6 to 6.4 inches. This is also an AMOLED panel, the previous model had an LCD one, that offers full HD plus resolution. It has a more modern 19.5 to 9 form factor, and offers a maximum brightness of 410 nits that is not bad. It also sports a sensational 100% NTSC and 108.9% DCI P3 color space, for a spectacular image quality worthy of the price range. And it also supports HDR and video playback. Curiously, it is a panel with a 60Hz refresh rate, although the touch input latency has been improved up to 43.5 milliseconds, thanks to a polling rate of 240Hz biometrics. The fingerprint sensor is located on the display. This is the new normal in medium to high-end devices for better accessibility, although most of them are a tad slower than before. The face unlock on the other hand, is basically the one that comes incorporated with Android 9. It is a fairly basic system, without 3D face recognition, but surprisingly fast. It will fail to authenticate if you hold the phone too close, tilted, or you wear a hat or glasses. The only point in its favor is that using a picture the phone stays locked, detecting that it is not a real face. Operating System The operating system is stock Android 9 Pie, which is excellent to have and hard to find in this price range. Of course, there is proprietary software for the screen configuration options, lighting customization, and also a gaming mode. This skin is called Joy UI, and can only be activated and deactivated via the shark key above the power button. By sliding it you can activate this skin that shows you the games that you have installed. This way you also get a top menu called Game Dock with many configuration options, like for example disable call notifications, a performance tab, a clear RAM function, etc. There is also a device configuration panel that optimizes performance, screen display settings, network connectivity, touch input, and sound settings. There is even a ludicrous mode that pushes everything to the max. Controllers. Another important feature of the Black Shark 2 is the possibility of installing two controllers, one on each side, to turn it into a portable console, Nintendo Switch style. These controllers are easy to insert and will instantly connect to the device via Bluetooth. The buttons and pads can be customized via the gaming tab we talked about earlier. Personally I would have preferred if these controls came bundled with the device, even if the price went up, since they are quite useful and the best feature of this gaming smartphone. Gaming Xiaomi bets everything in this phone's low-touch latency, with a polling rate of 240Hz and a response time of 43.5 milliseconds, which makes it the most responsive smartphone in the world. Although this can be a huge advantage in fast-pacing games, the Black Shark 2 doesn't have a fast refresh rate. It uses the classic 60Hz panel. Cool under pressure Black Shark stated that it wanted to differentiate this device from other gaming cell phones by using an advanced cooling system, called Direct Touch Liquid Cooling 3.0. In our test, playing PUBG Mobile, we did not experience any thermal throttling, and the device remained cool despite the game's intensity. Solid Autonomy The Black Shark 2 uses a considerable large battery, that grants this device a respectful 14 hours of use, with 7 hours of screen time with 3 hour of PUBG play. Verdict The Black Shark 2 is a true evolution of the first Black Shark. A gaming smartphone has to have certain features that offer a better gaming experience than ordinary cell phones. A gaming smartphone has to have a powerful processor, and software capable of customizing the hardware's performance to improve the gaming experience, all features that we find in this device. We also require a big screen of excellent quality, check and with a fast refresh rate, something that this device sorely misses. Sadly the Black Shark 2 doesn't even have a headphone jack. So you can't use your favorite cabled headphones and recharge the phone at the same time, 
which is something that most gamers do. The price is very competitive, but before buying it, we recommend that you also check out the ZTE Nubia Red Magic 3, which has both a 90Hz panel and a headphone jack.